that they uh hi good morning everyone turn had, had her husband her husband said you can watch youtube on the tv with the fire stick and so she started doing that and uh she's like you're huge on screen and i'm like <laughs> terrific <laughs> all right so i just removed her color we are going to get busy so I wanted to come on here because I wanted to show you my very favorite fall color. Like, favorite of all the favorites. Hi, everybody. Lots of people popping in. Um, so I wanted to show you my very, very favorite of fall favorites. So this is going to be um, first oh, 20 minutes or so is prep. And then do the fill with enhance and then go into color. But if you are not able to stick around, I will give you a quick sneak preview of the colors I'm using. Here you get to read. Good morning, Christine and Jade. It's easier for me to look at your nails than it is to read. She's so quiet. Good morning. Everyone say hi. This is Grace. Hello. <laughs> All right. So before I go into her prep, but I'm just going to show you a real quick preview. This is my favorite fall color of all fall colors. It's in the gel play line. It's called Copper Dust. And it is absolutely fantastic. It is. Um, I'll, I wear this basically every year because I love it so very much. Um, and then this one is a... Uh, a glitter that I created that if you are ordering from me and you did last week or so um, that's probably the glitter you have that I gave you and I've got a little bit more so in the next I don't know 30 or 40 orders you should get that glitter as well so um, it's my little free glitter and I'm gonna be sticking that on with uh, some Aurora gold which is awesome so I'm not gonna do anything crazy exciting, but it will be gorgeousness and classy and elegant. This is the 2S bit, my favorite bit, Jess bit. Does beautiful job of lifting up the cuticle. I know there's always talk about, you know, in, in the nail world, there is so many technical, you know, it's like a it's like an anatomy and physiology thing all the time. People are always debating, oh, you shouldn't be calling it the cuticle. You should be calling it this or that. And it's, you know, it should be called non-living tissue. And I'm just like, it, it's, you know, we can get all into fancy words and exact things, but if you say cuticle, people know what you're talking about. So when it comes to just kind of paring it down i try not to get too crazy with all of that i will let the anatomy teachers go over and try to uh re-explain all of the different verbiage for people and what way they want to say it but everybody there's so many different ones that say it so differently so it's a little bit crazy sometimes So nothing crazy stuck here. If anything was really stuck, especially in the right corners, I would flip my e-file into reverse and hit those, but we're all good. <clears throat> all right. So now I'm going after any non-living tissue. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know there was so much crazy in the world. Oh yeah, there's hyponychium and eponychium, and some people are like, you should be calling it this. And it's like, well, for someone maybe watching this that's still in school, it, you know, they're going to learn all that, and they're not going to know what the heck I'm doing. So I try not to get too politically correct all the time. I'm just not that, uh, not that crazy about being all politically correct. Some people get all bent out of shape that I still don't use gloves, which, you know, for 
40 years people have been doing nails without gloves and suddenly gloves are a big thing and people are like i can't believe you're using that well you know in europe they use gloves they're trained on gloves that's what they're used to and some nail techs get into using gloves because they start you know developing an allergen but i know there is a vast majority of nail techs out there who still don't use gloves you know we wash our hands in yummy soap and right now my hands are washed in pumpkin spice soap which just smells lovely <laughs> I like fall, so I like the pumpkin spice waft. Um, but uh, anyway, good morning, Charlene. We are gonna miss you at camp, my friend. I know you're gonna be having a fabulous time on your vacation, though. Her husband, she booked camp, and then her husband booked a vacation and didn't check with her when camp was. Oh. And I'm like, oh, that's so sad. And yeah, because she loves camp, and that's just a bummer. It's a all bummers. I'm taking the edges off my file. Very important to do always. Good morning, Monique. I have another friend, Monique, who is named Monique, and I call her Mo, and so I always want to call you Mo, but I don't know if that's your nickname or not, or if you hate when people call you Mo, so I try not to do it, but every time I see Monique, I think Mo, so it's kind of funny. All right, file is prepped. Okay, look at my paper. This paper is a little bit wrinkly. I found one left in the depths of my drawer. I need to print some more. And yeah, Marina said laminate them, and I have one that's laminated, but it shines too much in the light, so it does not work for cameras. It's not conducive to video. Or pictures, to be honest. It doesn't really work for anything as long as there's light around. It's too reflective. I need a matte, like, non-reflective laminator. So just blending where her um, last gel meets her grow out. She goes about a month. Maybe perfectly fine. She had watermelons on that I had hand painted. I hand painted people. I know, it's shocking. I don't normally do that, but they weren't too bad. They're pretty cute. I got lots of compliments. Oh, that's good. So this is that writing corner, and a lot of techs have a lot of um, problems with lifting in this corner. So the trick of it is just to make sure it's super well prepped, because it's just, the main thing is, is that your client, if they write a lot, is just gonna press on that, and so they're gonna push it away. No, the prep bit that I use is the 2S, 2S, too sharp. Um, on my website, it's called the pointed football. And it is my favorite bit. So pointed football is what you are looking for if you're at lovenails.com. Um, and that is the one that I use and love so very much. But I always like to remind people, change them out often. I have three in my disinfectant um, at all times in case I drop one or, you know, I'm cleaning up and I go to use one for my next client. I want to make sure it's been sitting in there more than 10 minutes. So I make sure I always have a couple in there. Thin out the free edge. You want to make sure that these aren't thick. The whole goal is to keep your nails looking as natural as possible. And you can do that with gel and 100% gel. So it really keeps the flexibility so you really can do that. So. All right, I'm <clears throat> just gonna visually check these real quick, like, and see, she's got some uneven sized nail beds. So I, if I make them completely even, this one's gonna be crazy short. So I get it pretty darn close, so that you can't tell. All right. 
Ah, oh, Jade said she can't wait for camp. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, spring camp. Yeah, spring camp. So the last place I was looking at emailed back outside of Baltimore that I found that I really like. Um, not available. So going to have to try another area because I have now exhausted all of the camp locations that I like in that area. So I'm not going to be near Baltimore. So it's still a mystery where it's going to be because... There's a lot of particulars that going, go into choosing a location for camp. I have to make sure that the lodging is sufficient, and that's probably the biggest thing. There's a lot of places that have cabins that don't even have bathrooms. They're like, oh, there's a bathhouse. And I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, my girls, we all want our own bathrooms. And so I won't go for those places. Sometimes I don't have enough meeting room space for all of what we're going to be doing. Um... And now we're kind of trying to make sure we're finding a place that will give us some meat and cheese together <laughs> at the request of Miss Allie. Last spring, Grace, let me tell you, we, I don't know if I told you this, but we were at this beautiful camp outside of Atlanta. Happened to be kosher. As someone who is not Jewish, no idea what that meant, thought no big right. deal, right? Because you go into the grocery store and there's a kosher section. I'm like, oh, okay, this is their special section they you know they like to do things certain way to me it equated to like organic like it has to be kosher like it has to be organic for some people okay cool uh, not really <laughs> yeah no I was so wrong and so it was like taco night and I come in and it, I'm a, often the last one to grab my food and I'm like uh did I miss the cheese and the guy's like there's no cheese I'm like this is a taco, bar. taco bar yeah and he's like this kosher I'm like I don't know what that means. Do you have to have kosher cheese? Like, and you don't have kosher <laughs> cheese? But no, you you can't have meat and cheese together. And so right. it was a very interesting um, rest of the weekend. And so I'm trying to not find a location like that. Midwest, yes. Um, only issue, I was going to go for Chicago, but it happens to be the weekend of the Chicago beauty show that I am looking at. So I'm trying to not be like, in Chicago and compete with the Chicago show because that's just kind of rude. So um, I'm looking at possibly Cincinnati, Columbus, kind of the Ohio region at the moment. I want to try to keep it a little bit more north since we were more south last year. Um, so we'll see. I've got to spend many more hours looking at many more websites. <laughs> all right. So she is all prepped. Just kind of double checking to make sure these are even. Let's go along on this side. <laughs> what did Jade say? That one's longer, so I'm just gonna shorten it as much as I can, but it's a longer nail bed, so it's gonna be slightly longer. It's not a whole heck of a lot. I can do about that. All right. Ah, Jade just the sour cream. I would miss the sour cream. Oh, too. right? No cheese and no sour cream? What kind of taco are we talking about? <laughs> Mohican Lodge, Ohio. I'll have to check into it. Um, a lot of the... I need to have room for typically 130 for a space, and it has to be um, the... Uh, have me, there's so many... That, factors a lot of times lodges are a lot higher um, budget wise so that can get a little bit tricky all right so i am using enhanced pink so she doesn't get lifting um without primer so i don't need primer if it was someone who needed primers i would do primers at this point but i'm going to go ahead and use optibond you can use it here which is the um performance version of bonding gel this is the um, options version of bonding gel and it's just I prefer the flexibility of it so this is the one that I use I have a little bit of glitter on my brush shocking <laughs> and just brush this down so I had some people go what's the difference between this and that um, I think Trinity is a bit more flexible than Enhance, so if you want a nail that's just a little bit harder, um, then Enhance is going to be your friend, but very similar viscosity. Okay, and the white 
please. Yes, I know. Here is Minneapolis, Kansas City. I know there's a lot of cities. I have to kind of start in one area at a time and exhaust all the possibilities before I just jump around or I'm going to get real lost in all my emails. But I will find something, I promise. <clears throat> but I do have the theme. So, if you want to know. Does anyone want to know the theme for next year? I have a logo. I'm trying to get a couple people to like agree that it's a cool looking logo but uh, once I know that everyone thinks it looks cool then we shall launch it but next year's theme is 2020 nails in the news so we're gonna do some fun um, kind of interviewee type things and some different stuff around kind of that theme. So that'll be fun. All right, so I'm going to use Enhanced Pink and uh, just go straight into this. It I feel like Enhanced doesn't quite run as fast as Trinity. I could be wrong. We will find out. I don't use it a whole heck of a lot. I've been using Trinity, but I am sold out of Trinity and waiting for my shipment to come in in the next few days. So if you have an order that hasn't shipped yet, and you order Trinity, and that is why. But it will ship out as soon as I have it. Just waiting for the mailman. So I'm probably gonna flash cure this two seconds because I really get mad when it goes into the cuticle. <laughs> it makes me angry. I think it stems back from my, um, oh, that's fine from my early days of when I was in nail school, I had a Supercuts hairstylist teacher in training for a teacher, that was my teacher. So she had never done nails before. And about halfway through the class, and it's, you know, in Washington, you have to do 600 hours. So about halfway through the class, I'm like, I have never seen her do a nail. I'm like, can I see you do a nail on me? And she's like, oh, sure. And it was just, <laughs> Oh my gosh, all over the cuticle, all, it looked like a, it was massive, like, I just was like, wow, all right, and so I went to the front desk, and I, you know, where all the other girls are running the appointments in the front desk, and I'm like, check out my nail, and they're like, oh my gosh, did one of the new girls do that, and I said, oh no, this was my teacher, so I'm really, um, just two seconds, I'm really finicky about, uh, yeah, that <laughs> so I don't like I don't like product in the cuticle it also causes lifting and all kinds of other problems so um it's annoying when it starts growing out too yeah we don't like that we don't do that kind of thing so again I'm holding my brush flat and gliding over when you apply a self-leveling gel like this if it's not sticky so there's some self-leveling gels from some companies it's very sticky and it's hard to do this technique and so if you haven't tried accents and you're wondering what makes a difference a lot of the time it's a lot the stickiness of it makes a huge difference um all right go ahead and put that in and uh hi gail <laughs> she said another one i got to meet gail at camp she's so sweet nice yes i got to meet a lot of these people in atlanta it was the first time I'd done camp over in Atlanta. I've been, always been doing it here in Washington for the last nine years. So with the expansion of it to Atlanta, I got to meet all kinds of new people, which is really fun. And that's one of the reasons I want to move it around every year. It kind of helps bring in some new people who maybe haven't been before. <clears throat> and we will just keep growing it. Who knows, someday we may end up doing nail camp at a university because we can't fit into a regular camp. Wouldn't that be crazy? I don't like it to get too big because then you lose kind of the closeness of everything. And I don't know. 30 participants. That's pretty big. <laughs> I know. Well, that's just it. Like you get, we got close to 150 one year and a lot of us were like, okay, that was too big. Yeah. Because it's just, you have a hard time getting to sit with educators and get to know them. And it just, it seems pretty big. Um, attendees typically love it when it's like 80 90 right because it's not quite so crowded but I also want to make educators happy so getting up a little bit higher is good um and it's also you know if you don't get enough people then are the educators going to be upset because 
they need to fill up their workshops and make their money from yep. getting out there because a lot of them are not, especially for nail camp, they're not paid by the manufacturer to go to nail camp. The only way they're making their money back from being there is their workshops and selling product to their classes. So if we don't have enough people, it makes it really difficult for them to want to come back. So I try to get closer to 100. We're a little bit shy for West, and so I'm hoping that in the next month we get a little bit more registrations come in, um, which we typically do um, in the last two months anyway. So I think we're probably okay, but uh, it always worries me that if we don't have enough, then we're going to be losing educators who are not going to do nail camp again. So if you want, if you want nail camp, you have to show up at nail camp. So this one is a little bit running with gravity. Oh, cuticle. Dang it. All right. In the light. I hate it when it goes back. Oh, it's the best highlight. Jade says, camp was the best highlight of my career so far. It's so nice. Did you do my thumb? Uh, no. Oh. So I probably shouldn't put your <laughs> gel away. I was, I was <clears throat> concentrated on that dang product that went in the cuticle because it drives me nuts. It wasn't heating up, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, your thumb wasn't heating yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah, you only have to flash cure just two yeah. seconds and then come out and then it won't get hot. Yeah. But um, you noticed for sure. It is important to do all 10. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So that was Enhance. So I'm going to switch brushes. This is the one that I've been using. It's nice and springy. Um, it's a relatively new one. I think I got it out last week. But I don't want to use this with my um, copper dust because let me tell you, these metallics will get into your brush and they will stay there forever. <laughs> so, I don't like to do that. Um, this brush, however, might be a little bit too stiff. That one's like, I think this one's going to see the garbage. It's had its, it's, had its day. This one's got a little bit of glitter, but not too crazy. All right. You do want it to still be able to glide over the nail. So this is Copper Dust, my favorite fall color. Of all the colors. Accents came out with a Luxio this year that's called Inspire. And, and maybe it's Impulse. Is it Impulse? Impulse, which Ooh. is a gold version. But if they had made this copper dust I would have been so stoked because <laughs> Luxia is a little bit easier to apply than your um, gel play but they have not yet I will put a request in but I typically am ignored so <laughs> <laughs> I've had requests in for 10 years and it just doesn't happen so I just kind of ignore it kind of stop requesting after a while let's put it that way so this one we're going to put glitter on, but I'm still going to go ahead and base it in our color. And with this, um, met these metallics, if you apply it well, um, with slightly thicker coat not a big thick coat you want to make sure it cures but if it's just a slightly thicker coat you can do it in one coat like this one that's completely covered in one coat so it's just it's learning to float over your color is really the best way that I can describe it um, if you drag through your color it's going to be a lot thinner if you can float over your color you're going to make a smooth nail that's done in one coat it takes a little bit of practice but you can do it. Glitter on the nail. Any comments in the room? You get to read. <laughs> Grace is so shy. I know I am. 
Oh, is your brush flat? It is a flat brush. Yep, this is the 106. So it's the same brush that I use for um, doing my 30-day manicure or my fills, however you want to call it. Um, and the reason is, is because I'm applying this like a gloss. So if I use a brush that's not flat, that has a belly, I'm going to be creating a lot of divots in the nail. And I don't want divots. I want it to go on like a gloss. And these, this brush is the best brush for glossing. And so to apply a color and make it go on like a gloss, that is the way to do it. <clears throat> so if you go really fast, you can just do two coats if you do them really thin really fast but if you spend a little bit more time on it then you can do one coat so it's really up to you there's no right or wrong it doesn't hurt to do two coats i go through a lot of orange wood sticks People don't buy them on my site very often, and I'm like, what are you guys using? Because I have them cheaper than pretty much anywhere most of the time, so I don't know. And some people might use brushes, like an actual brush, and clean their brush all the time, but I like the disposalness. I don't know if it's stick. Are you laying it flat on the nail? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. I'll show you from the side. I can but it's gonna be glossing it this way so when you do a gloss if you do it this way you're dragging through it like that that's not what you want to do you want to float it and in order to float it you have to hold your brush parallel to the nail so get it up near the cuticle as close as possible it's nice that the gel play has such good control it doesn't move on you so you really can get it all the way to the cuticle and if you don't touch it it's definitely not going to go in there the trick is to get enough on the tip a lot of time because i feel like as i get towards the end i pull a little bit harder and then i end up with not as much so as long as i go through and double check the tip it should be good to go piece of lint and with these metallics i try to make it as Perfect to finish as possible. Teresa loves your nail. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was just telling um, Grace here that, oh, it's almost fall. I'm going to have to change my color to this one because, as I said, I love this color so much. I do it a lot on myself. But then it's like, what am I going to do with it? Do I do glitter? I haven't done a glitter fade on myself in a little while, I don't think. I can't even remember what I've had on my nails. I guess I could look back at old videos. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do purple on my nails. And so I did my toes purple. And then I did this on a client. And I did the, I've done this foil on so many clients. But I did it on white and the colors just like really popped. And I'm like, oh. I never wear white nails. I'm like, maybe I'm just going to do it. So I did mine. But now my toes are purple and my hands are white. <laughs> but who cares? As I always tell my clients, you don't walk around with your hands on your feet. So no one is going to notice that your hands and your feet are two different colors. And they may see your toes coming at you and go, oh, I love your toes. And then you get close and like, oh, I love your nails. You know, and so if they're totally different, then you get two compliments, right? So. Yeah. Um, not a big deal. Don't walk around with your hands on your feet. So, but yeah, it, my toes are what Shayla's hands were. So those of you who follow like my Instagram and stuff, I did Shayla's with purple and purple foil last month. Um, and it is on my Instagram. And when she came in, my nails were still what she had had on last time because she copies me. She just, she doesn't like to make decisions. She just wants to she just tells me to do what's on my nails on her it's pretty funny yeah i know um well that was the first thing i asked when i came in this morning let me see your nails <laughs> um yeah it was it was pretty 
pretty funny. And I said, well, I haven't redone my nails, but I did my toes. And she's like, let's see. So I showed her. She goes, done. And so, <laughs> so her, to- her nails were matched my toes. So, Stephanie, it is copper dust. Yes, it is copper dust. Yeah, it's reflective, see? And I don't even have to have things that reflect, and they still reflect. Yeah, this color is my favorite. So important. And I love to do um, gold leaves on this. Like, there's a bunch of layered leaf uh, stamping plates, and... It's gold leaves on this color is pretty poppin'. And we have to do that for November. Mm-hmm. It's pretty poppin'. It's pretty beautiful. Or you can do even like an outline of a pumpkin. You don't even have oh, to do yeah. the whole pumpkin because you've got the pumpkin color here. Right. So you can do the outline and you get cute pumpkins. So, yeah, there's some great, uh, great ways to do stuff with this color. So pretty. Isn't that color just phenomenal? I love it. All right, so now we're going to go in the glitter. So I'm going to use my Aurora Gold as my glue. Do you want me to fade, do a little bit of a fade on this one and then this one solid? You yeah. You just want one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we'll do two nails. She's just going to do one, but, you know, I, let's always be extra. <laughs> extra is always good. So this one's gonna be an all over glitter nail. So I'm gonna take a good amount of my Aurora. So this is how I do Rockstar. So if you haven't seen my old Rockstar videos, Rockstar Toe videos, um, I typically do a layer of color, a layer of glitter, and a layer of chunky glitter. And so that's basically what I'm doing here. So if you're gonna get Rockstar Toes, that's my typical formula. And it allows you to um, really be able to fill in super well. So. This is this fun, free glitter that you get from Love Nails when you order right now. It even has like big circles and stuff, which is kind of fun. Although it's a little too big for what I want to do right now. <laughs> It'd be fun if it was what I was going for, but right now I'm just going to save that for later. But it's got some great oranges and some little black bits. I started giving glitter out, I don't know, last year or something. And it's fun for me because then I get to like pick, okay, what's the next glitter going to be? I've got some great ones lined up for Christmas um, as well. But um, because of the Black Friday sale, I went through almost all of this. I have a little bit more left. And I have to come up with another one for next month. They're all custom glitters, by the way, you guys. I mix these myself before they go in the packaging. Um, this one was actually three different glitters that I mixed together to create this one. Um, so they're going to be different every time I send them. They'll never be the same. So every time you order from Love Nails, if you get a new glitter, they won't be any. They won't be the same. Pretty snazzy. All right, I'm gonna just dab this on the end. Charlene says she loves the free glitters. Well, everybody loves free <laughs> glitter. I mean, I always feel bad when I know someone's ordered twice in a month and I'm like, sorry, you're getting the same glitter because I haven't gone through my stash yet. Um, but normally they're so pretty. I, I don't think they'll complain too much. But sometimes it happens, but it's all right. So this one I'm gonna fade. So I applied it on the tip and I'm just gonna blend it up. I just want to pull up a bunch of these smaller sparkles up here. And then I'm just going to line the bottom a little bit with some chunky, not too much, just a little bit. There we go. So pretty. All right. Do this little bit here. Now I'll move on to here. 
So the trick of doing Rockstar is the top coat and not having a bumpy nail. So this is technically, you know, in the world of nails called encapsulating. And um, for a lot of techs, they struggle with it because there's so much work involved with getting the glitter on and then getting the product on and then filing it again and all of that. And you don't have to if you are using the right stuff. So I'm going to be using options, clear or crystal clear, whatever I pull out of my drawer, doesn't really matter. One of those um, as my top coat. And it just has just the right thickness of viscosity to float over the nail. And um, that will give me a completely smooth surface even with this chunky glitter so. it always amazes me how smooth my mm. nails are when i'm done good it looks like it'd be bumpy with all that glitter in there mm. it never is and that's good i'm doing my job right <laughs> all right let's see i want that one there no i don't it's a little too orange for that spot. Too orange. I kind of need to like figure out what I'm going to do with some of these big circles on somebody. <laughs> I feel like that's a challenge that I must accept, but I will figure out what I'm going to do and on who. But I thought they were cool. These big black circles are cool. All right, so now I'm going to dab this in. And again, I'm using a different brush. This is a different brush than what I do my 30-day manicure with because if you're using the one or your fill with, either one, either way you want to call it, um, I'm using, if I use the same brush, I'll, it won't flow as nicely when I go to use that for my fill. So if you use a different brush for glitter and you're, you'll be much happier with the result. And looking down the barrel, you can see if it's um, bumpy, too bumpy or not. Um, but I do see that on the side here, it's missing a bit of color. And I'll probably be filing that spot anyway, but just in case. I'm just going to dab a little bit on there. All right. Says, read what Julia says. Well, I'm beginning to practice the 30-day manicure we learned at Nail Camp. It's worth it to know and offer this service. Yes, ma'am. And it's, I mean, technically it's a fill. That's really what it is. But because I'm pairing it with 100% gel color, this is options clear. And I'm going to do these two nails, and then I'll go back and just top coat my other nails with regular gloss. Um... Anyway, the 30-day manicure, is a, it's the same thing as a fill, but I'm not doing any kind of arch or anything like that because you're just keeping a very thin layer of that hard gel. But people go, oh, do you remove it every time? I said, no, I'll leave it. Let it continue protecting the nail. Apply another very thin coat and move to color. So it's a very um, easy way to get a nice, strong natural nail. She's got very rounded nails, so even when you apply your gloss, hers are gonna start looking pretty rounded. But hey, that's what that's what these videos are for, right? Real clients, not models. Real nail beds, not always a model nail bed. Some people go, I want my nails to look like that. I said, well, you're gonna need to grow about double the length of your nail bed, and then, <laughs> like, I can give you the general idea of what it's gonna look like, but. The exactness, mm, your nails don't look like that exactly. All right, so I'm gonna just take, there's a little bit that went the cuticle there. I'm gonna have that go in for a minute. And that's just gonna flash care for a few seconds and then I'm just gonna get out my um, Luxio gloss to do the other three nails.
Okay, that can just come for a full cure. I'll do the other hand. <clears throat> so fun design, pretty easy. So now you know what your glitter looks like if you have ordered this month and get some free glitter. I thought it was going to be enough for all of the end of this month, but it's not. So I've got to come up with a new one. I'm thinking something totally different. Like I could go fallish or I could go like blue, but I don't know because no one's really wearing blue right now. Well, dark blue. I am doing some navy and I did bright blue. I did look out yesterday on someone. So I guess blue is happening still starts getting into fall we do a lot of navy for sure I touched the cuticle just a smidge there so right before I put her in the light I'm going to make sure that I get that out so with this top coat you just want to make sure you're floating over the nail and rotate it and see where you might be missing more and you can go over it if there's a spot of of glitter sticking up, use your nipper and nip it out. Um, there we go. I'm gonna flash cure that. Clean my brush. And I'm gonna have her come back out and I'm just going to top coat these three. Carletta likes the blue. She says it's her favorite. Yeah, I like blue a lot. I do blue every summer for sure. So we'll see. I'll, I'll go through and figure out what it is that I have that I want to do for next glitter. Next glitter. <clears throat> All right. Then I'm going to just wipe off the tacky layer. And this is going to have a different... See, it's not, it's silent. This one's silent, or not silent. <laughs> Noisy, <laughs> silent. <laughs> Noisy. So it's just a different curing thing. Can you just do two coats of gloss? Uh, sure, I mean, there's no rules, you can. I just find that you still can end up with bumps because the gloss is runnier and it will not be near as smooth as this. Um, I've been, I've had Rockstar Toes done at some other salons and they just do that. And they've got to apply gloss and apply gloss and then they buff it and then they apply gloss. And I'm like, that is a lot of work when you could have just put one coat of options clear on. So you can, um, but I highly recommend hitting it with the, um, the options clear or the options crystal clear it's really shiny adds more strength because those are builder gels they're actually are soak off builder gels so um but they've got a great shine to them so then i'm just going to put this back in here grab this put it back on and then as always 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 come up underneath and zip out the end of your nail many important reasons to do this but you don't want a thick nail you want it to look finished and good okay the clear was thicker yes the options clear and the options crystal clear are both thicker than regular gloss and so you can float it on in one coat and get that perfect finish if you're doing it with like luxio gloss you, d you definitely would have to do two coats. If you're doing a shine on, you might have to do three coats because shine on's even thinner. So really it depends on what you're using, but I highly recommend using your options clear, crystal clear. It's just a huge time saver and you get a perfectly smooth nail with nothing sticking up whatsoever. It's totally encapsulated. I always come around 
And this is always a good time if you know someone that um, likes their edges just a little bit smoother, you can smooth out those edges for them so they're not too sharp. And then zip underneath. And that is it, my friends. I'm just going to oil her up and she'll be good to go. I hope you had fun hanging out with us. That was pretty good. Did her fill, art, and everything in less than an hour. So we are right on time for my next, which is great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing Copper Dust in person because it is... Well, I guess you're not in person. On video. <laughs> Sing it on video because it is the best of the fall colors. Oh, there's the squeak. When you oil your options, it will squeak. And the reason I do this part is to pull off any residual tacky layers. So sometimes things like the options clear will leave just a slight bit of tacky layer even if you wiped it with alcohol. And I used to do, when I used to do pink and whites and I would finish and send them to wash, they'd come back and be like, this nail's not shiny. And it was almost always like the last one as I would wipe, 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 wipe. And I realized that it was just a little bit of leftover residual layers. So I started doing this where I would put the oil on and rub it in and it gets rid of all the residual layer. It gets rid of all the dust and it gives them a nice finish um, set when they go to leave. So all right, guys, thank you all. Hope you have a fabulous day and a great weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.